So welcome back, everyone. Uh, I'm so excited to record this blog interview with Greta Us. Hopefully, I pronounce uh, your name correctly. And I have here my water bottle, which was the inspiration for me to reach out to her to be on this second blog. And a little bit background how I got to know her is that I remember I went back to Sydney in 2017 and I researched about water innovation. And obviously, an article about your awesome work came up, Greta. Uh, the article about you winning the Australian Water Association Water Innovation Challenge in 2015 from your Old Fountain uh, Initiative came up. So mm. I'm so excited for you, uh, for, for us to talk today. And even though we haven't met in person, I'm sure everyone will can, uh, can feel like the, the passion for water and design. What inspired you to found the O initiative and started the O Fountain? Yeah, so um, it all started with um, a frustration, which is what normally happens, right? <laughs> Um, so my frustration was um, the enormous amount of um, plastic water bottles. Mm. Um, and so um, living in Melbourne, uh, on my way riding to the city, I, I would continuously pick up plastic water bottles from the street. And, um, and then I started researching and noticed that in Australia, just in Australia, one million plastic water bottles ending up um, in in yeah not in the in the trash every day, wow. and a, and a large part of that ends up in in you know on the street and then in the in the rivers and the oceans. So um, f yeah, so it and then w at one day I had an aha moment where I suddenly realized that the contrast between beautifully packaged bottled water that is so conveniently available in, on every street corner um, and it's promoted by, you know, big marketing campaigns. Um, and then on the other hand, I noticed the water bubbler in the street that is a stainless steel object, mostly next to the rubbish bin. And then suddenly it was that, that observation of the contrast between, you know, the two mm -hmm. on one end and the other end. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually it was like, well, what if we make water public fountains uh, attractive? Can we then you know, reverse our addiction to water in plastic water bottles? Right. Oh, wow. That's really great. Like you took something that is really contrast, right? You saw something that is kind of like waste in the trash or like waste of plastic bottle and turn and use your, your background. From my understanding, your background is in art and, and design, correct? Yeah, I, I, I well, my, actually my background is in marketing and communications, oh, although okay. um, I'm, so I always say I'm marketing tap water. Oh wow! And so it's it's um, yeah, it's it's a way of packaging tap water. So um, yeah, because we haven't even talked about you know we talked about what was the inspiration or what was you know the the start of it, but then yeah, so 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 the the thing is that I wanted to make water bubblers attractive. Mm -hmm. And then I um, was walking in through Melbourne okay. and that was in 2012 and um, the zoo in Melbourne was celebrating its 50th or I think it was a 50th anniversary. And because of that celebration, mm -hmm. we had 50 elephants um, all around town and they are the fiberglass elephants and every elephant was painted differently. Oh, wow. Because um, by a different artist. So we had the same object, the elephant, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and it was looking differently every time and it's actually inspired by um, a, a, a global concept which is called the cow parade so normally it's cows and this time it was elephants mm -hmm. and then i saw people interacting with the with these elephants so there was all these happy people in the street and they were all like wow you know and and that was like oh what if every elephant is a water refilling station and that is how i make the link to turning public water fountains into public art wow that's amazing and i see a lot of the the old fountain in the picture it's beautiful i can tell you that i'm <laughs> yeah. a big fan of it i i haven't used one before but i want to use it one day yeah. for sure with this water bottle for sure that's great and uh so you you saw the problem and use uh and you wanted to market water right and during the the journey when you started the old initiative and old fountain could you share a little bit about your challenges along the way or mistakes that you made? Uh, for example, you might found it really challenging to apply for the water innovation challenge, but that turned out to be a good thing for you. Maybe perhaps you could share a little bit more on that, that uh, so people can be inspired by and know what to, to expect. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that. Um... I think the, the, the most challenging thing in launching any new product or concept mm -hmm. is um, um, to find what is so in, in one of my favorite books. It, the book is called Switch and it's, um, it's about how to um, cha drive change when change is hard. And um, the, they have this amazing example in the book and it and it's, um, talks about finding the bright spots. Mm -hmm. So basically it's finding the people who get this and, 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 and finding the people that can see the value of, of this new concept. So finding the bright spots is because um, if you have a new concept, Mm -hmm. it's really hard to push it and you know and and uh, there's a lot of objections and there's a lot of people don't who cannot see past the status quo so to speak right. so there is a lot of people that go like but you know and that also that also think from their own reference mm -hmm. point so if you go like um trying to say like okay we need to it's important that we offer an alternative to bottled water Mm -hmm. And um, um, and then they say, oh, but I drink tap water and uh, I drink from a bubbler. Mm -hmm. and it's like, yes, I do too. I have no issue with drinking from a fountain the way it is at the moment. Right. But the thing is that there is a large part of the population and, and even there's research that says 85% of people are reluctant to drink straight from a fountain. Right. So it's not about you. It's not about from your perspective. It's from, you know, we need to look at it from other people's perspective. Right. So it's, it's a trick. It's a trick. Yeah. It's a challenge to find the people that can see beyond that. Right. Could it, could I rephrase it as a ed educational awareness? or something like behavior change or change of mindset to think about water fountain in a different way. That the, water, the quality of water is good and the water fountain makes you feel good as well. Is it something like that? Yeah, I, th I think it's, um, what I find a challenge and I still find that as, I still find that a challenge is to um, to see beyond what we have now. So, mm -hmm. and the, you know, like the functional, um, yes, the functional uh, object, the tap in the street, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that there's a lot of people that can are, are not happy to use it. 
And so if we want to address this issue of reducing plastic pollution and mm -hmm. um, um, focusing on one aspect of plastic pollution, focusing on you know, the, the waste associated with drinking bottled water, and we want to offer an alternative, then the bubbler in the street at the moment is not an alternative. We need to right. change it. And so to, to, for people to see beyond that, um, as a solution, as a larger solution, I think mm. that's still very tricky. Right. Um, I mean, for me, when I work on something new, I came to the same challenge as well, like you, Greta, like it's, it's not that people don't want to do it, but maybe because people don't really understand about it and needs a lot of attention and make it sustainable. That would be another angle that I want to kind of maybe throw it out there. I'm not sure it's related to you or not, but sustainab uh, sustainability is always something important for any new products, right? So yeah. I think it's good that you, you mentioned about changing the status quo that's always be difficult even for myself so thank you for sharing that so can you tell me a little bit more uh coming down to the last few minutes is where can we find the the beautiful old fountain right now yeah so um so at the moment there is six fountains on two sides of the world mm -hmm. So there is four in Australia, wow. uh, in Melbourne. If you go to a, a, an amazing park in St Kilda, where there is a market every Saturday morning, there's an O fountain. Mm -hmm. um, there is one in Queensland, um, in Caloundra. Mm -hmm. um, but also, a um, very gorgeous one is at Amsterdam Airport. Wow. Um, at the um, yeah, at the the big entrance of uh, the entrance hall of the airport. Um, so that's that's a that's a pretty um, yeah. I'm really stoked about that location. Um, and we're actually now we're working on fourteen more. Wow. So it's a slow yeah. So we went from one to six, and mm -hmm. now we're working on another fourteen. So. Um, there's wow. a lot coming. Yeah. That's, and, that's double the number for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's really exciting because everyone is different mm -hmm. and we've been working with so many different artists from, you know, high profile artists to local community artists. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's, it's fabulous to be able to work with such a wide range of artists. Excellent. Thank you so much uh, for all the insights that you have shared with me and everyone who is listening today, Greta. What I took away from our conversation is marketing for water. I love that. I love that so much. And I'm so excited to see that you're working on 14 more or fountain that is double from what is out there right now. And I really want to mention the last thing here is that the your all fountain at the TEDx Sydney was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. mind blowing, and I was a big fan of that. Uh, and I talked to a couple of friends who went to the the conference. They love it. Uh -huh. They love it so much. So thank you so much again, Greta, for for being here, sharing your insights and your story with other water professionals i appreciate all the the time and you know finally we made it and uh if anyone have questions or comments just let us know thank okay. you so much and enjoy the beautiful amsterdam oh thanks yeah <laughs>